at the stroke of midnight, when the world sleeps, India will awake to light and freedom. With the end of these words of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, history witnessed the beginning of the largest and one of the greatest democracies on this planet Earth, which is our very own Indian democracy. Good morning, my dear friends and respected judges. This is my youth from BES College of Art, Science and Commerce. And my topic for today is the role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy. When I speak of today's Indian democracy, the platform of the parliament and the surface of the streets have become a stage for daily debates and discussions. Debates on citizen and citizenship. Discussion on rights and responsibilities. The youth from the universities are on the street and the policemen from the streets are in the universities. The change in the position of these two gives us a clear indication and a clear picture to each and every citizen residing in the country about the ongoing conflict between the left and the right. The ideas versus the ideology. In today's era, where the media has become a medium for distributing certificates regarding a person being a national or an anti-national, the role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy is to think, act, and behave rational before calling someone a traitor or an anti-national. The role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy is to transform this self-balancing ecosystem of the Indian democracy into a self-sustainable ecosystem for our upcoming generations. The role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy begins from his very right to vote, as the knowledge of this right transforms the acronym of vote into voice over the enemy. But the utilization of this right for a greater purpose with greater unity and with the greatest responsibility soon upgrades the acronym of vote into victory over the enemy. The role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy is to save and protect the basic structure of our Indian constitution. But while doing so, one also needs to make sure that the infrastructure of the nation is not damaged. The role of a modern citizen of the Indian democracy is to stand strong with the army of his nation when the time comes. But one also needs to make sure that the brave hearts of his nation are not used as cannon fodder just before elections to gain political motives. Yes, it is the role of a modern citizen of the Indian democracy to fully enjoy the freedom of the fundamental rights, but one also needs to make sure that the fundamental duties are also being followed and share the same space along with the fundamental rights in the Indian constitution. I know when I speak of today's Indian democracy, each and every one of us has been divided on the basis of caste, class, creed, cow, and color. Speaking about color, knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or unwillingly, directly or indirectly, color has become a prominent part of one's identity living in this democratic setup. Blue, green and orange being the prominent one during election campaigns. But a modern citizen will always believe in the principle of unity in diversity. He will always know that when this blue stream of water will touch the green grass under the presence of that orange sun, it will give birth to a flower and that flower would be the flower of my Indian democracy. And the maintenance of this flower is so far the most important role of a model citizen of the Indian democracy. At the end, I would just like to say that a democracy without the participation of its people is like a body without a soul. And yes, for determining the destiny of my Indian democracy, a model citizen will play the most important role. Thank you.